In this video, I will be showing you how to build this system to create for you viral LinkedIn posts on autopilot. And if you continue watching this video, I will show you also how you can download the template for the specific automation 100% for free, along with instructions for our AI agents that we'll be using in this specific material to create the best LinkedIn posts. But before that, let me guide you through how it works. So first I can click on execute workflow and either I can provide the message in my chat or just a voice message. So simply let me provide a voice message so I can simply click here. Um, hello, I heard about the newest update from ChatGPT. Um, it's all about ChatGPT agent. After I send this message, um, actually the content is transcribed and our A agent is getting um, the information from the internet about the specific update. Afterwards, our basic LM chain will generate for us a content and at the end, uh, we just publish it um, straightforward to LinkedIn. So let's wait a few seconds more. And now the content is published. So we can go ahead to LinkedIn, refresh the page and now see what we get. So simply, yeah, it's published and now just look. Chat, chat GBT just stopped being just a chatbot. Here's what nobody's talking about. OpenAI quietly launched ChatGBT agent and it changes everything. And now look simply on the structure. It's perfect. We've got everything we need. And the best point is it's based on the best knowledge how to create the most viral LinkedIn posts. So in this automation, I'm basing on the knowledge from Jesse Van Bregul, which is an expert in creating LinkedIn posts. And I based on this specific file that contains 14 um, pages. And it's all about creating the best post. I used ChatGBT to create for me the instructions for my AI agent. Um, and remember, I share it 100% for free. So all of these instructions and um, this entire automation. And if you would like to get it, you need to go ahead to the link that I will put in the description of the specific video to our 100% free school community, which is AI enthusiasts. If you are here, you can click on Classroom, then go ahead to YouTube resources and just click on a LinkedIn post machine. You've got a agent's prompts and at the bottom, um, you have your very own um, template to download. So simply you click here on download. And right away, if you go here, um, you can import from file and just have your very own automation set up. But now when you know how it works, let's build it from scratch. And for this case, I will be using NADEN, which is an automation platform to do the specific stuff. Um, also the link I will be putting in the description of this video to this tool, so we can open this link. But for now, let's start with the trigger, which is a starting point for the automation. And now I would like to use a telegram. So I want to indicate, okay, whenever I have a message in my telegram chat, which is this one, then I would like to trigger this specific automation. So simply I pick on a message. And then um, what I need to do, I need to connect my credential um, to Telegram. Now, actually, in this video, I won't be showing how to do this. You can go ahead to any other YouTube video and see that, okay? Because I don't want to waste your time. Most of you probably have this connection um, created. But if you don't, just go ahead to the video how to set it up. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but for now, what I can do, I can click on execute the step. So simply click here and now provide um, just the text message to uh, my chat. So for an example, um, please um, create for me a post about the latest, latest chat GBT agent, um, agent update, okay? Um, okay, we can just type update. We can just send a message. And after we do this, you can see right here, we've got a text we'll be using later in this specific automation. Great. Um, the next point is to provide our switch option because um, I decided to create a automation that um, not only handles text messages, but also voice messages. So either I can provide the voice message or text message. So what we do here, we just provide a text inside this specific value and we say, okay, if, it's, if it exists, um, then um, go ahead with the path, which is text message, okay? Um, the other path, now we can, let's, let's simply run it, okay? And now what we can do, um, we, can, we can just send a voice message to our model. So I can click execute workflow once again. And this is from the simple fact. Um, now we don't have the field, um, for the voice message because it doesn't exist. Uh, we only provide the text message, not voice message. So in that case, 
to set up this specific field um, below for voice message, we need to send a voice message to our model, to our chat, okay? So now I can um, record a, a voice message. Um, hello, I would like to have a post about the latest ChatGBT agent update. Um, simply also I can execute the workflow, okay? And now we've got um, the voice message right here. So as you can see, it's highlighted on red because we don't have this specific variable um, to choose right now because we've got the voice message. However, it's fine because we can choose now the file ID and mark it so check if it exists. So it will be as the voice message, okay? Um, great, and uh, we can execute the step. Um, actually, we executed it, however, it's fine, okay? And now let's firstly set up the first path, which will be the voice message. So firstly, we would like to um, get a file from our Telegram. So we just go ahead here and uh, from the Telegram trigger, uh, yeah, do we have the data? Yeah, we have the data. So let's actually again run it. And in the file ID, we would like also to provide the same variable as we used in the switch. So we just provide the file ID, we click on execute step, and we get our file right here. Then uh, we wanna use OpenAI to transcribe for us this specific um, recording. So we've got audio actions, transcribe a recording, and then we just do nothing because we've got the field name, which is data. And just pay attention here also we have the data, so nothing changed, uh, we can execute the step. And the only fact is, actually the, the only point is, we wanna only take the text from here, okay? So just from voice file, we wanna have a text. Um, so hello, I would like to have a post about the latest ChatGPT agent update. So we've got some misspelling here, however, um, agent will understand it perfectly. Perfect, great. Um, so this path is finished. Um, after this path, we would like to have our A agent. Um, however, before, let me fulfill also this path. Because in the text message, we would like to only have one specific node, which is um, edit fields. And this node allows us to modify the variables and the data and just, um, yeah, for our needs, modify it for our needs. For now, um, to continue with this path and to have the data, because here you need to remember we don't have the data because it didn't choose this specific path. Um, let's go ahead to Telegram and type a message. So maybe this one. Let's execute the workflow firstly. Um, okay, let's remove it firstly. Okay, execute the workflow and now send a message. So we process with this path. And the only thing we wanna do is to map the text because um, the name of the variable, so the text, is json.message.text. However, we wanna have something, the variable which will be json.text, um, to simply later fit a agent with this variable. And why we do this? We do this because um, actually from this specific node, we'll have the same variable, so it will be json.text, and also from this path, we wanna have the same variable. So. Later, it doesn't matter if it continues with the text message or voice message. We don't have an error, um, just we have the same variable name, okay? If that makes sense. I will show you that later. Uh, we can now remove the message um, that dot, okay? We can click execute step, and we've got the text, perfect. Um, then we can just choose our A agent um, that will make a research for us. So we can click here on the find below. We have the prompt and a system message here. And we can go ahead to our community where you will have the prompt. So we can just copy and paste it right there. And in the system message, also we've got the entire system message. So uh, let me show you what we, what we have inside. Um, so we have the overview. You're a skilled research assistant. When given a topic or keyword, your task is to conduct deep structured research across the following four areas. Replace keyword with the provided topic and four on findings relevant to 2025. We've got statistics and current data, case studies and practical applications, expert insights and trend analysis, competitive content and audience pain points. So everything we would like to have. Um, so you can just stop the video for now and read it. Um, so you have all of the information. And it's simply for just getting the information from the internet about what we said. So in that case, we said, please create for me a post about the latest ChatGPT agent update. That's right. 
Um, that makes sense, okay? Um, we can pick the model to do this stuff, and I like to use OpenAI. And for this case, we'll be using the model, which is search, search preview, and um, it will be GBT40 search preview. Uh, from the simple fact, uh, we want to make a research, so we would like to pick the model which is better at research rather than at something really casual, okay? We can now execute this step, so a agent. Um, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. It's rolling. And it should give for us um, the content, okay? The content about the update. And then we'll take this content and feed, feed our basic LLM chain with this content to generate for us a post. Um, so we'll see it. That's great. Um, yeah. Wow. So we have huge comprehensive data about the latest update. And again, that's great because we'll be using it later. In the next step, which will be basic LLM chain. So um, we've got basic LLM chain. Oh, by the way, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to check out our A Agents Accelerator. Inside, we've got plus 40 hours and Aiden course. We've got premium A Agents templates, um, make templates, and so on. We've got a community of members. The price for now is really low comparing to the value. So if you, if you like, feel free to check it out. I will put the link in the description of this video. Let's go back to our workflow and click here on the find below. So source for prompt. For the prompt, um, let's go ahead to our community. Uh, we have the topic and the research, okay? So simply what I've done here, I provided a topic for us, from us, from the Telegram trigger, and the research from chat GBT. So this entire variable, so the output. You can just drag and drop it here. Um, so simply, yeah, the message right there and our JSON output, that's great. We'll be using also the system prompt, which is really sophisticated. I created it with chat GBT based on this amazing um, LinkedIn playbook from this guy. Um, yeah, shout out to, to this guy. Actually, this is brilliant. Um, so I used um, yeah this entire content and created for you perfect system message. Like, look how comprehensive this is. And, it, and again, what it does, um, it creates for you perfect content for LinkedIn. Oops, let's paste it this way. And what you have, purpose, core principles, Post structure, so we've got the hook, I'm um, here the core, um, the source, um, personal touch, like look how great that is. We've got, for an example, requirements, keep it short, clear, and curiosity driven, use proven formats, proven driven, outcome focused, number driven, personal emotional, curiosity, statement mistake, uh, mistake based. Um, we've got the CTA, um, there, the writing style, language patterns. Um, success metrics to um, optimize it for. So simply what you can do, you can download it again from our um, community, which is 100% free. Uh, for now, I don't want to stop the video right here, just explain it step by step. It's just the information from this entire playbook. Um, I, I spent a lot of time on creating it together with ChatGPT, and I came with something like this, okay? Uh, we use the model, let's add now the model, which will be OpenAI. Um, however, we are using um, 4.0. So simply we are using 4.0 for that for that particular case. Um, and um, what we can do, we can just run it, okay? Uh, we'll wait like approximately 20 seconds, I guess, or 15. Uh, but the content is highly professional. So I used to create this specific post. Oops. Uh, yeah, we've got a content. That's great. Um, I didn't even manage to show you the, the post, but again, it's highly professional, like look on all of the details. Okay, so now um, when we have like all of these elements, let's add the last step, which will be LinkedIn. So simply we can go ahead to LinkedIn, we can create a post, and now we can create our new credential. Simply what you do, you pick standard, you disable organization support, you click connect my account, and you just log in. Um, I've got, let me log in, maybe, okay, so I've got my account connected, and then what I can do, um, let me pick my previous credential, I can choose my account here, and in the text, just provide the specific text. Click, execute step, and yeah, we've got it. Now what we can do, uh, we can just um, go to my profile, um, and refresh the page. So we should get our post ready to, uh, already published. So now just simply look, we've got the entire content and uh, I can see like um, the format is not that great. 
So what I can do for that case, I can check it. Uh, which model we used uh, for O? Uh, let's pick ChatGBT for O latest. So now it will be better. Yeah, so I so I realized that, you know, we've got some problem because these posts um, that were before were just better that I posted before. Uh, for an example, like this one, the format is here, just not that clear. But now um, let's again create a post and now check for the content. So let's refresh it. Um, again, let's refresh it like we need to wait. Okay, hopefully. Great. Just look on it. So we've got it. Uh, ChatGPT just made a huge leap. Here's why it matters. OpenAI new ChatGPT agent is it just isn't just another AI update. It's a shift in what AI can do for you. Like we've got, uh, how would you use the ChatGPT agent in your work? Drop your ideas below. We have, here's what this update brings. It takes real world actions. It browses the web like a human assistant. It lives on your Mac. It stays safe under hands off. Um, so that's totally great. Um, I just published this post. Maybe I will delete it. I don't want to get my um, audience angry because I, I've been I've been like posting these posts all the time when I was testing this automation. However, you know what I mean. We've got this high quality posts ready to create whenever you want on autopilot without doing anything. Um, so we've got it for now. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, click the subscribe button for the algorithm. Um, feel free to check out our A Ages Accelerator. So it's our premium community inside. We've got a huge value space where we talk with the experts. Um, and the, inside the classroom, we've got plus 40 hours, the best NADEN course on the internet. We've got YouTube resources also, like a lot of YouTube resources with endless instructions. So a huge value inside. Um, and again, feel free to check it out. No pressure at all. Um, remember inside our free community, um, though you can download the template from this video um, along with other templates. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.